How's it going everybody? David Hedge here, House Hedge Gaming, and today is the day I finally got in Marvel Dice Throne, which was a great collaboration between Roxley Games and The Op, bringing Marvel heroes into the Dice Throne uh, universe, if you will. So let's go check out and see all the stuff I got, the playmats, the sleeves. Uh, I'll give you full heads up right now. It's already sleeved up. My wife could not wait to play, and she's already whooped me once with Loki. I was playing Black Panther. Loki has one of the most broken abilities that I have seen on a character, and plus, my wife also found a way to uh, to stop Black Panther from being fully effective, and I'll, I'll uh, go into that at the end of this video. So let's go check out and see what we got in the Kickstarter for Marvel Dice Throne. All right, here we have the base game for Marvel Dice Throne. And I gotta tell you, the artwork, I love this artwork. I love the collage. And you have like the individual ones on each side here, which is really awesome. And again, they did, May Tremblade always does an amazing job on these games. And then on the inside, you have a little battle scene here, which is also on one of the playmats as well. And I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But inside of this box, set that over here. You have nice tray here. They're color-coded. And this one's a little bit different from the other battle boxes. Uh, you got like the raised area here, a little bit sturdier uh, than just the cardboard. Uh, again, you have the choose a hero, select the hero options here. And each one's color-coded. So for Black Widow, of course, the case is gonna be black. Uh, for Doctor Strange, you got brown. Spider -Man, uh, Black Panther, pink or purple, sorry. Uh, Captain Marvel yellow, Spider-Man is dark blue. Uh, you have Scarlet Witch red, Loki green, and Thor light blue. And then we'll take a look at each one here. Let's actually take a look at the one for Loki because, well, my wife just recently played this one and whooped me with it. Uh, so inside, of course, you have the board, which again, has everything you need here. Uh, Loki has one of the worst abilities to go against because he can create illusions of himself, which can either prevent all damage, half damage, or he still takes all the damage. But it's a 33 and a third percent chance you're going to end up hitting him. Uh, and that's Scott Steiner math, and I don't have the time to get into that in this video. Each character will have their leaflets here to let you know about their complexity, a little FAQ and rules clarification, and then their different abilities that the tokens do throughout the game. Uh, the sleeves, which I don't know which company they use for the sleeves, but uh, they're really good quality. Uh, they fit snug on the cards. And you have the updated artwork for the different ones, specifically for Marvel. So like Try Try Again, uh, Not This Time, uh, Transference, which by the way, uh, in the game, Transference usually helps out really well to get rid of negative effects. But if you're playing Black Panther that focuses on your kinetic energy and you need to hit your stack limit to get a big boost. Um, if somebody plays this against you and takes one of your kinetic energy, you're in trouble. You're never getting your stack limit. Cindy figured that out and it was really tough trying to beat her on that game, which by the way, I didn't. Uh, but each character also has their custom, their custom, their customized uh, combat points and their life counter. Let's see if we can get out here. And by the way, it's also easy to get these out. Just got to push the corners like you did for the other ones if you got the battle chests. You have the different tokens, which, by the way, uh, Board Game Geek, if you're listening to this or if you're watching this, which you might, uh, please make the geek bits for this. Uh, I would love to see what you guys do to upgrade these tokens. And finally, you have the dice for each character. And the dice, as always, are really good. There's been like some print errors on these, but I have not seen any on mine. I was one of the lucky ones to get the mine without the errors. But if there was, Roxley definitely does a really good job to get those replaced for you. One last thing I forgot to show you before I move on. Uh, you do get standees for the different characters in the game. So when you open this up, you'll have your punch out for all your tokens and everything. But you also have standees so you can use them within the uh, Dice Throne Adventures game uh, if you want to take these Marvel characters and put them into a whole nother multiversal mayhem matchup. But you have all eight characters there and you do have the cutout for Mjolnir 
which luckily for the Kickstarter, don't need to actually use that one because I have that here. It was a bonus that they did uh, that you can get the metal version of Mjolnir, which this is a hefty son of a gun. If you throw this at somebody, actually, um, it might cause a little damage, but it's definitely uh, a really well crafted and it de uh, definitely makes it a whole lot more fun to play as Thor because you get to place this heavy hammer on the character and then try to retrieve it later on down the line. But again, a great addition and a nice collector's touch to this version of the game. In addition to the other promo cards you get in the game, you also get mythic abilities. Now this is something brand new for the game, introduced with Marvel Dice Throne. You start this out at the beginning of the game having the ability as active, but then at any point you can flip it over and then you're able to get a special effect, flip it over, takes it to the inactive uh, part of it, and that's an ability that's already spent and you're done. So with this, it gives you a little bit of an added uh, bonus at the beginning of the game. Uh, gives you a little bit of extra strategies you can throw in. It's not recommended for a usual one-on-one, -on -one, but if you got a big group game or if you're going into Dice Throne Adventures, these will definitely help you out throughout your expeditions through the portal jumping world of Dice Throne. Now, next up, you have the sleeves that I've already mentioned before to sleeve up your characters. You do get extra packs, uh, extra sleeves in the pack. This way you're able to add cards while you're going through the Dice Throne Adventures game with these characters, uh, which I'm glad they did that because it would be a little bit more money to spend for the sleeves, but then again, these are really high quality, and chances are I'm going to be getting these again to make sure that my characters stay sleeved up for a very long time. Uh, and then finally, for smaller accessories, we have the dice tray itself. Uh, instead of keep rolling sixes, it says keep uh, roll your ultimate, uh, which is really nice change for it. Uh, it has a Dice Throne logo there. And then, of course, you have the same collage artwork that was on the box. And these turned out really good. And again, great material on these. Uh, I don't know who they go to for these uh, to get them made. But whoever it is, keep it up because they do a really good job. As I said before, I apologize to my wife for getting all these playmats. <laughs> uh, so these are the uh, 10 playmats. You'll see nine here and I have the 10th one I'll roll out for you. But I got one for each character. So I have Loki, Thor, Spider-Man, Black Panther. Uh, I have the collage, that's the artwork from the box. Uh, then you have Scarlet Witch, you have Black Widow, Doctor Strange, and Captain Marvel. And then you have this one here which is of the entire group. And I love these are extra large. Uh, they're great for mouse pads if you just wanna use them as that. Uh, but the images look very nice. It looks very clear and crisp. The edges on the play mats, I love these sewn edges that they started to use on more of these. I always hate it when my play mats frayed a little bit and you start having the peeling of the uh, top layer of the artwork. But with them doing the stitched edges, it makes a world of difference, and these are welcome additions to my Playmat collection because I've been cycling through them, and now I have brand new ones to break out on my game nights. But that is everything that I picked up through the Marvel Dice Throne Kickstarter, uh, the great collaboration between the Op and Roxley Games. Well, there you have it. That is what's inside Marvel Dice Throne, and I gotta tell you guys, I I love this game. It is truly, Dice Throne has become one of the quick family hits at our household. Uh, not just with my wife, because she loves whipping me with it. Uh, but also with our friends, we show them how to play and they just fall in love with it. Uh, we're getting to the point soon where we'll be starting a Dice Throne Adventures campaign and see how many times that I can actually cost the team uh, victory throughout that whole, uh, that whole scenario of events. Uh, but... The characters are really well balanced. I know a lot of people are going like, ah, this character's overpowered, this one's overpowered. They're not as bad as you think. Loki might be the one, the one character that I think is the biggest pain in the butt because he has an ability that can block out your attacks the next turn. And he can do up to three spell bounds. Now that's the ability it's called. And Cindy was able to black out three of my abilities and I couldn't do anything. And it was so frustrating to see that. 
between that and also Loki has the illusion ability to where you're either doing your regular damage, half damage, or no damage. I always picked fail. I picked two partial damages. Everything else was fail, 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 fail. And I'm like, well, that's my luck. That's Loki. Uh, but it was still a whole lot of fun to play. Black Panther is really uh, well balanced. Um, basically, he's similar to Barbarian. He takes uh, he takes a whooping, but the kinetic energy keeps building up, and then he unleashes a massive attack, uh, which is separate from uh, not attack. It's a massive effect where it can swing a game a little bit. It deals five undefendable damage, but you're drawing two cards and gaining two combat points. So it gives you a little more option and it makes you think like, do you want to hold on to kinetic energy and power up your attacks? Or do you want to save it up, hit your limit, and then go for this massive kinetic explosion to deal damage to your opponent, but also gain some momentum, gain some combat points, gain some uh, knowledge from drawing cards. But the uh, the game itself, I love the way that the tray looks. Uh, I'm glad it's all color coded. The tray is definitely an upgrade battle chest from the previous versions, which I like. Uh, I do love the dice tray. It's it's so pretty, it's so beautiful, uh, and the play mats are high quality. The sleeves are gr are great quality as well, and it's all around a great value. Now they do have the sleeves individually to sell on their site. Same thing with the play mats, uh, and they're going to have the two packs of the characters as well that you can pick up at your friendly local game store, or you can go to RoxleyGames.com and be able to purchase it from there. But it's truly a game that I honestly feel that you can add it to your collection and you will not be disappointed whatsoever. Uh, to me, it's one of those great games that you can just break out, set on the table. It takes less than 10 minutes to set up, less than 10 minutes to teach. And once up, you start getting to the gameplay of it, uh, it really can hook people. And I think Roxley Games did an amazing job being able to get that balance of simplicity, but there's also a bit of uh, strategy as well, because when you have dice rolling and card draw, uh, it definitely brings on a different element uh, to a game. So, uh, But that is Dice Throne uh, Marvel Edition. Again, a great collaboration between the op and Roxley Games, and they already have a Kickstarter up for Christmas in July where it's Santa versus Krampus, uh, which is a cool little Kickstarter they're doing uh, where basically Krampus has these misfit toys. Santa has a boatload of eggnog. And they're doing this whole thing where you go through and see each turn that they're doing throughout the campaign, uh, see who wins in the uh, at the end of it. But also they're doing all these different promos that they're giving out that for both the decks, but also for Dice Throne Adventures. And they're also doing mini figures as well. Uh, you can upgrade if you want for the metal dice and the dice tray. And I've heard people complain like, well, why won't you do this cheaper? And it's like, hey, it's an it's an added bonus. If you if you have the funds for it, definitely get it. The metal dice are cool and all, but for me, I'm just going with the, the regular backing of it to where I get the figures and all to go with all the other figures. Now they just need to do figures for Marvel uh, Dice Throne, but that's a different thing. Uh, but that is the Marvel Dice Throne. Uh, and I thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you like it, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let everybody know the House Hedge Gaming is here for all of your gaming needs. And until next time, guys, stay safe and take care.